If you are looking to train or fine tune a model, then the biggest handicap or the obstacle at the moment is the cost. Because there are not many GPUs available and every company, whether it is a public cloud provider or a dedicated GPU provider is charging a lot. That is where Hugging Face is to the rescue again with the help of NVIDIA. NVIDIA has this DGX cloud where you can use GPU or rent them out on a very nominal prices. All you need to do is to log into your Hugging Face account and it's a paid one of course and it is called as Hugging Face Hub and from there you can rent out GPUs on a nominal cost. Availability of GPU resources and effort required to perfect training scripts still presents a huge barrier to fine tuning open models. And this new collab collaboration between NVIDIA and Hugging Face is really good because it is going to address issues like availability for enterprise hub users. Also, you don't need to have any code experience at all. And I will show you shortly why. You can have um, your training and fine tuning task for very, very small data set, or you can even go with a lot of bigger data sets. Right now, you can fine tune models like Llama, Falcon, Mistral, Mixtral, uh, T5, Gemma, Stable Diffusion, and STXL. Now, in order to get started, uh, all you need to do is to go to Hugging Face website, log in there with your enterprise account, go to the model which you want to fine tune. So, as a base model, for example, you want to go with Llama 2 7 billion Hugging Face. Once you are there, then let me make it a tad bit bigger. There you go. So you can see that on the right hand side, just simply click on train. Once you click on train, then it will open this screen, which is going to take you to NVIDIA's DGX cloud. From there, select your organization. As a sample, they have selected this hugging face one. Once you select your organization, then you will be presented with this screen. Now, this is pretty interesting screen because what this screen is doing it is telling you uh, how you are going to train it you don't have to write any sc training script you don't have to pip install anything all you are doing here is your hugging face user is there you can name your project name you can select your hardware so we are just selecting one l40 gpu that's it and the task is llm sft on this whole screen i believe the most important thing is this task. The task is LLM SFT. Now SFT stands for supervised fine tuning and it is a first training step within the alignment process for LLM. And it is very simple. So what happens here is that we need to curate a data set of high quality LLM outputs. These are basically just examples of the LLM behaving correctly or in a way we want it to behave. For example, you want your um, LLM to behave like Shakespeare or you want it to behave like any other celebrity or in any other specific way. For example, you want your LLM to only behave just like your corporate documents are written in that persona. So for that, you pick up or curate your data set and then you fine tune your LLM using SFT. So basically you are supervising your LLM. And we are directly fine tuning the model over our own examples. For example, you give it a curated data set in which you are telling it few prompts that uh, write this document in a way, but only put 10 sentences and each sentence should be in next line. So from now on, once the LLM is trained on such sort of data, always it is going to produce the output in that way. So this is what, what is called as supervised aspect of fine tuning because we are collecting a data set of example that the model should emulate so this is what we are selecting here now on the right hand side you can see that there are various um, hyper parameters that we have specified that what should be the optimizer how many epochs should it uh, use to get trained and then so on and so forth also for the hardware, you can of course go with NVIDIA H100 GPU, which are available in different sizes. And the training data set 
must be directly uploaded in the upload training file here. And CSV and JSON files are currently supported. Make sure that the column mapping is correct following the example below whatever columns are there in your data set. This shows that it is on it has only one column at the moment. And for training parameters, you can directly edit the JSON configuration on the right hand side. For example, you want the epochs from 3 to 1, you can simply change it. When everything is set up, you can start your training by clicking the start training button and then auto train is going to validate your data set and then it is going to ask you for the confirmation. And then once the job is started, you can monitor it in the logs. How cool is that? And once the training is complete, your fine tuned model will be uploaded to a new private repository within your selected namespace. Now, interesting bit. Usage of training on DGX Cloud is built by the minute of the GPU instances used during your training jobs. Current prices for training jobs are 8 US 8.25 US dollar per GPU over for H100 instances and if you are using L40S then it will be uh, $2.75 per GPU or for this. Usage fees accrue to your enterprise hub organization currently uh, current monthly billing cycle once a job is completed. You can also check your current at pass usage from their uh, um, portal. Now just an example if you are fine tuning Mistral 7 billion on 1500 samples on a single NVIDIA L40 that takes roughly around 10 minutes and costs just 45 cents. So you can of course scale it to have a rough idea about how much it is going to cost but if you compare this cost with the cost on the public cloud provider or having your own uh, system, then I can assure you it is going to be very, very expensive. And to give the credit, I have obtained these screenshots from this blog post on the hugging face. I will drop the link to it. And there is a lot of other information in this article. So really heads off to all of these guys who have uh, put a lot of effort in, uh, you know, publishing it. I don't have unfortunately enterprise hub account I, otherwise I would have shown you in real time but maybe I will try to get the access and we'll create another video where I will show you properly hands-on as how to train a model by using this DGX cloud I'm particularly um, interested in Gemma as I have a use case so bear with me I will uh, try to create another video on it now having said that I believe very interesting and very uh, welcoming step in the right direction Hugging Face has already been doing a lot of great things in terms of machine learning and AI model for the masses and this is another feat from them. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I will drop the link to this blog post in video's description. Um, please do read it and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.